Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the rendering tests for Vegas Pro 15 and Vegas Pro 16. Now, the build that I'm referring to is a Vegas Pro 15 build 384 versus Vegas Pro 16 build 248. Now, I have a short video here. The video length is... Uh, I think it's just under a minute and a half. It's one minute and call it 23 seconds. And I'm going to use the same video for Vegas Pro 15 and Vegas Pro 16, obviously. Now, the other thing I'd like to just show you is the setup. Here are my settings. There is the dynamic RAM and then the rendering threads at the maximum. Now, I'm going to use GPU acceleration. I have two GPUs, I'm going to use a second one. Remember that Vegas Pro does not allow you to uh, uh, use the AMD. I'm using the AMD and I'm running them in tandem crossfire mode, but it doesn't allow it. So you will have to just select which graphics card you're using. So it doesn't matter, even if you set it to off, I've done the off uh, where it's just rendering on the CPU alone, kind of getting the same results. All right, so I'm just showing you that the settings for the two Vegas Pros are matched. Because when you are doing these comparisons, you need to make sure you are not comparing apples with bananas. You see, they, they are matched. So we are now comparing apples with apples. All right, so let's look at some tests. I'm going to demonstrate to you that there is very little difference, uh, funny enough. I have seen other people's YouTube videos saying there's a massive difference between these two rendering rates. I haven't seen that. Uh, I haven't uh, experienced that. I find they're quite similar. So if I go and I say render as, let's start with the um, the AVC, that's the advanced video coding. And let's just pick, uh, this is a 4K file, so let's pick it in its native format. There you can see the current project is 38840 and they're 29.97 frames per second. So I'm going to do that at its uh, current uh, uh, rate. And I'm, I'm going to leave the custom settings. I'm not going to change them to custom settings. I'm going to leave them at the the default so you can see their maximum uh, bits per minute uh, bits per second is 48 and average bits per second 24 so there we go um, 24 meg and 48 and I'm gonna just say render okay so there it is rendering now for all of these tests, I'm going to keep both of these uh, Vegas Pros open. Now, I have done it when they're closed and I've restarted my computer. There, it does not affect the the test. So you might be say there might be some naysayers saying, no, you can't have the other one open and no, you can't have OBS. Well, um, I beg to differ. Okay, so just to let you know a little bit about my setup here, I'm using the uh, Threadripper. I'll show it to you. You can see the CPU utilization at 94% on my AMD Threadripper 90. 1920x uh, memory 32 gigs i'm using um, the corsair i can't recall the model let's just see if it is listed there um unfortunately not and then uh, the gpus this is the uh what we call the wx5100 and i have another gpu there also the wx5100 just showing you here how they don't share it uh, equally the, they don't share the load equally but very important is the uh, disk the read disk and as you can see i'm using a high uh, quality the or premium disk samsung ssd 960 evo and there as well 960 evo and again 960 evo and this is the read and write disk at the moment and you can see it's barely at its uh, at its uh, maximum it's not even it's just kind of left the gate it's not even close to its maximum read and write rates okay so having a look at the test you can see that um, we have two minutes left and i'm just going to let it play now Okay, so there we have it. The total time took 3 minutes and 51 seconds. And now let's have a look at the Vegas Pro 16. I'm going to close that and move to Vegas Pro 16. And let's render the same file in the same format. Right, the uh, settings are going to be the same and we're going to render. Okay, so coming to the end there, and you can see that it is uh, almost identical. 
slightly longer at 3 minutes and 54 seconds. But what you would notice, and here's the summary, is that the CPU utilization was slightly lower. So I noticed the Vegas 15 was almost at full CPU, while Vegas 16 even uh, dropped below 90% at times. And I will call it an average CPU utilization of 94, while Vegas 15 was about 97. So an improvement there, although the uh, rendering rates uh, there's nothing in it that is three seconds and not worth reporting on right let's try a different format now okay so i'm going to use the uh, similar setting although i'm going to use the amd vce and let's see what we get Okay, so the, immediately you'll notice the CPU utilization, 49%, excellent, 40, 55. Uh, so now you're seeing a relaxing on the uh, CPU, although the memory has, uh, has pretty much uh, uh, completely uh, blocked off the, the utilization, then 95%. And then look at the GPU. See, now... By using the AMD uh, VCE, you can see how friendly it is to the AMD GPUs. And look how both of them are now running uh, GPUs running so well uh, with the uh, AMD VCE uh, option. Look at that. But the utilization is now shifted directly to the GPUs. Uh, the CPUs this is at about 50%. And look how much quicker this is. All right, so you can see there is considerably quicker at 1 minute 55, and then the CPU, let's just call it 50%, and now let's test that with version 16. All right, there we go. Similar utilization on the CPU, uh, we're dropping below 50%, the memory also very high, uh, and then there you can see the GPUs, a similar response to the version 15. So you can see how version 15 and 16 doing the same things here. Um, look at the utilization of these GPUs. And then the CPU looking pretty uh, good there below 50%. Now let's see if version 16 is faster than version 15. Okay, so we're coming to the end here. Version 16 clocking in at 1 minute, 55, 56, 57, 58. Okay, so again, not much in it. Slightly slower on the uh, version 16. So contrary to uh, what people uh, are showing on uh, YouTube, I'm not getting these same results. Let me show you the summary. This is at with the uh, AMD VCE, and you can see that f version 15 was giving me 1 minute 55 with a fairly uh, half utilization of the CPU. And look at version 16, 3 seconds slower, but also using the resources quite similarly. So we can see that for uh, version 15 and 16, not much in it. Right, let's do another test. I'm now going to render down to 1080p at 29.97 frames per second. So I'm going from 4K to Full HD, and I'm going to leave the template as is, 2412, and let's go for it. Okay, coming to the end of the render, you can see that it is quicker. If you're going 4K to 1080p, you can see that it was one minute and 36 seconds. And if we do that with the uh, version 16, let's try that. And we're going to leave the settings as is. And here we're coming to the end. S uh, similar result at 1 minute and 30, call it 38 seconds. And the uh, version 15 had 1 minute and 36 seconds. Okay, so I'm using the Magics. Uh, there we go. Internet 4K 2160. Uh, I'm going to use the same native frame rate, and it's going to be the AMD VCE, and let's see how it renders. Okay, coming to the end of the render, just to show you the summary, the CPU hovered around 50, 48, uh, quite efficient there, but you can obviously see the GPUs were loaded very well, and the total time was 2 minutes, 0 0.04 seconds, and that is considerably quicker 
then the AVC option, as you can see, the magic using the magic HEVC. There we go, two minutes point four. While if you look at the other four K four K renders, the AVC well that was three minutes fifty one. While the AMD VCE well there well that was the quickest so far. All right, so let's look at the uh, version sixteen. Now what you will notice is there's a lot more to choose from here in the version 16 versus the version 15. But what they've done is they've effectively put the, if you can see here, the Intel um, uh, algorithm they've put here in this list as well. So they've actually just moved things around because if you look at version 15, you will see uh, here we go. If you say render as, you see there was the Intel options. So they've now moved this into the, because uh, they're both HEVC, they've moved it into there. So they're just sharing that area. So All right, so here we go. I'm going to uh, render at the same specification. And let's render. Right, so there we go. One minute and 56 seconds, slightly quicker. CPU, I'll call it the same. Uh, I can't uh, really tell if there was a difference, so we'll just call it the same. Okay, and just to do a final test, let's just look at Windows uh, Media Video. And if I don't know if people are still using this, let's just do a down sample from full eight from the 4K to 8 megabits per second. I'm not going to make any other changes. I'm just going to say render. All right, so this rendered at 2 minutes and 14 seconds. And let's do the same test with the version 16. Okay, so the total time was 2 minutes and 16. Very similar, not much in it. I wouldn't uh, call much difference in that. Okay, let's do some tests without the video acceleration, the graphics acceleration. Right, so I'm going to do the same renders, but now just with, with the uh, CPU on, without the GPU acceleration. Okay, so coming to the end of the render, it is almost 4 minutes. It is 3 minutes and 53 seconds. And just to be sh absolutely sure, I'm going to re-render it. Uh, on version 15 and also people might say well it's it's in the cache and all these things uh, you've already loaded up the memory well let's just go and re-render it on version 15 okay so we're rendering a version uh, rendering with version 15 this is the ABC 4k so 2160 with 29.97 frames per second and as you can see uh, we are getting close to midway Okay, coming to the end of the video, the uh, render. All right, so this was worked out to be 3 minutes 53. And the CPU, well, I kind of felt they were matched. So I would also say it was about 94, 95%. So it seemed to be a little bit better than with the with it was CPU only rather than with the um, GPU acceleration. Now, I'm going to do a one, more, well, two more tests. I'm going to render as CPU only, but I'm going to use the AMD VCE. And let's just see what happens. Is it going to force itself on the C uh, GPUs? There it did. Look at that. So what it's doing is it's located the one GPU and it's blasting it. Look at that, 100%. And the CPU is down to uh, 50, 60 percent. But notice that it is not using the GPUs in tandem. So that's a very interesting result because that means that if you want to use Crossfire, it doesn't work with Sony Vegas. But what is interesting is if you set it to the AMD setting on in the software and thereafter, make sure you set it to the GPU and the other GPU, then the software is almost tricked, or maybe it's by design, 
to um, allocate most of its workload to the GPU, but because you've set it to um, GPU acceleration, it will put the uh, rest of the workload on the other GPU, effectively using both GPUs. Okay, so this is going in for a really fast render. We're coming in at one third, probably one, just under 140. One thirty-eight. All right, and the very last render for the morning. Let's do the same, but with the AMD VCE, and let's blast it. And version sixteen, pretty much doing the same thing as version fifteen was doing. There we go. It's put the workload onto the GPU, even though it said CPU only, it kind of got overridden when you use the AMD VCE's uh, video coding uh, algorithm. And there we go. Probably going to head for a very similar result on version 16 as well. Uh, look at that, 100%. Okay, coming to the end, and there we go, 138 139 okay give it one more second longer on version 16 but literally the same result okay so that brings me to the end of this comparison here are the results i'm going to go through them quickly so the first set were with graphic acceleration i'm using the amd uh, wx 5100 uh, cards i have two of them although uh, sony as uh, though vegas pro only lets you select one now they were the first comparative results there we go, 351 versus 354, it's Vegas 15.1. Then uh, AVC 4K, there we put it on the AMD VCE. Look at that considerable improvement in rendering time. 155 versus 158, Vegas 15.1 won that round. Okay, then we go to the AVC 1080p down sample, 136 versus 1 minute and 38. Vegas 15.1, although, th I mean, this is negligible. Really, this is this this isn't even a ten percent difference. Okay, then I did the uh, Magic's own codec, and there we go. You see Magic's uh, then was HEVC. Um, I did note the the uh, specific uh, details here because there was some uh, pixel. I think this is to do with the color coding, although this is YUV. I'm not sure if these are the same. Uh, but I know that these are to do with color coding. But anyway, nevertheless, there was a slight difference here. 2 minutes and 4 seconds versus 1 minute and 56. So that was the only difference there where uh, Vegas 16 won. Right, now we go to Windows Media Video. Uh, 8 megabits per second and there we go, not much in it. Now we set it to CPU only and you can see that with the CPU only you kind of got the same results as the first round there with the AMD acceleration. Uh, but remember that with the AMD acceleration that had to be on, there we go. So what we're seeing is very similar results here, uh, except for this. This is the trick. So when the graphic acceleration was on and it was kind of balancing the load or, 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 or deploying the load to the GPUs, uh, it was better if it just used one GPU only. Look at that. So that for me is the highlight, the takeaway. If you are an AMD uh, Crossfire enthusiast and you have multiple graphics card, well, that would be something that's uh, of use. But overall, I cannot say that Vegas Pro 16 is faster than Vegas 15. Thanks for watching. Cheers.